Okay, deck tech. All right, let's run. Uh, let's run Chandra's hammer back. And I mean, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, even though we went. Uh, so I, I did record this, and I'm not sure if it's going to go up or not. It probably will, but I went obviously five zero with this uh, exact seventy five. Then I went three two, which is a little disappointing, but it definitely felt like we could have at least beat the hammer time deck uh, that we lost to uh, in that match. So it felt like we easily could have gone four one. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, nothing felt off, to me at least. Um, and, uh, I think this deck absolutely can trophy again. Um, so let's, uh, let's just give it a shot. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Just, uh, the main deck relics really pull their weight. The, uh, 28, effectively 28 lands, um, we basically, we basically never get mana screwed, which is awesome. Uh, Spike Field Hazard does help deal with opposing Ragavans and DRCs, which is, which is excellent. While also being a land, um, Valakut Awakening, you know, uh, doesn't always happen, but sometimes when we uh, when we cycle it, you know, we reveal it off of Chandra. Sometimes too, it can it can be just a great way to just get a crew extra value. Or if it was a land, you know, obviously we just couldn't play it with Chandra. Um, yeah, can't leave home without Fury. Ragavan, of course, can't leave home. This is the way, this is the way we uh, jump from one to three. Uh, season Pyromancer, of course, one of the key cards in the deck, just produces an army in a can and turns us through a deck. Lightning Bolt, uh, yeah, Mr. Blood Moon, of course, you know, the the pillar of the deck that kind of disrupts, you know, and, the, and you know, just, just like I've always said, you know, Snaring Bridge um, is probably never been better uh, in this list. I mean, if I'm not playing in Snaring Bridge in the Obosh 8 Chandra, not 8 Chandra, the Obosh um, Hammer uh, deck, then I don't know, I don't know where we will play it, but uh, I think this uh, definitely has potential. Um, and I think... Uh, I feel good about this. I feel confident. Let's see if we can see if we can do this. All right, let's get to the games. <clears throat> All right, match one. Let's see. Well, hand at least has a decent uh, chance of being good. <clears throat> yep, let's see. Well, that is a pretty quick, uh, pretty quick game. Uh, okay. Alright, well, I'm not sure, uh... Let's see here. I guess I run the same thing back, right? Because I don't even know what we're playing against. Maybe they have to bounce. We do know they have Kira, though. So maybe I should uh, play Pillage, no matter what. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't the uh, 8 Chandra deck that I thought I was playing. I'm playing the Obosh Hammer deck again. Alrighty. They must have kept a hand they didn't intend to keep. Alrighty. Alrighty. So should we play Chandra? I mean, seems reasonable. If it lives, I think it's going to be good for us. And if it uh, doesn't, it might increase the chance of Blood Moon resolving. Okay.
I could play Lightning Bolt, but let's hold it for now. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna hit it. And that's where Blood Moon may resolve. Alrighty. So obviously if we let on Blood Moon and they dealt with it, it might have been a little bit better. But they might actually be able to deal with this one too, so in which case we can drop the other one. Okay. Alrighty. And just in case they have spell purists. Alrighty. Let's see if they got uh, prismatic ending. The next prismatic ending. Okay, cool. Alright, let's uh, play CZ. CZ Pyro. Yeah, let's just go Dizzy's too. Okay. And let's uh, put Obosh two hand. So I guess it did turn out good the way we sequenced in a way. Because we definitely want the first two things for them to uh, deal with to be the moon and the Chandra. So then we, this might, you know, provoke a solitude to come out. Okay. I think I'm going to try to get 6 damage when I can. Hopefully I don't have Ephemerate. Okay, good. And hopefully they don't have a... Okay, good. Um, what's it called? A Shark Typhoon. Alright. I'm definitely cycling this thing. Okay, well, all right, that was a pretty quick match. Um, I guess what a match two. Alrighty, match two. Hey, hand seems reasonable. Alrighty. <clears throat> Gobbos. Hmm. Should I play Ragavan? See, because the problem here is... Nah, definitely I should. No. Yeah, because I'm definitely going to want to play Blast Zone. Most likely on that Aether Vial. Maybe I should have left Lightning Bolt untapped. But it's just a very good chance I'm going to want to... Okay. Well, let's see if we get any traction here. They only play like basically Skirk Prospector. And they've also got, what's it called? Uh, um, Ignoble Hierarch, but that doesn't block this profitably. Okay. Yeah, so I, I'm sequencing this one. Normally, I, I, I don't prefer to dash Ragavan, but since Blast Zone is going to be so nuts. Yeah, see, they have a normal Hierarch. Well, that's just going to lead to an even crazier Blast Zone crack, so I think, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have played out Relic, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to have to sweep my own Relic up. I, I guess I just didn't foresee... No, you're right, I shouldn't have played Relic. Oh, but I may have to crack it, though, I don't know. Get uh, get my land drops. Very possible. This was kind of best case scenario, I guess. Is that in a way we uh, yeah. All 
Well, I say let's uh, turn off auto yields and let's uh, see if they put anything in play. How greedy do we want to be to crack the uh, relic or not to crack the relic? I think we crack the relic. Make it a three for two. Well, see, that's a good thing that we uh, noticed that. Yeah, we have to do this now before they can... Uh, Or they can put something into play. Because I could have looked at one more card at the top of their library, but if it was like a uh, munitions expert, then could be problematic. See here, Mog War Marshal. Fair enough, I guess. All right, let's just do this now. My only issue is that they can play their other Aether Vial. That's the one reason we waited, is because uh, at least they wait on their Aether Vial now. I mean, munitions expert could come down, but... Yeah, actually, let's just uh, do this right now. This would make... At least munitions expert wouldn't be able to hit Chandra. If it's just going to hit Ragavan, that's okay, I think. I do need to defend Chandra. And Bogart Harbinger. Snoopy Snoop. Hmm. I need to instant speed Snoop. Let's try to get through. Best defense is a good offense. Uh, 
Alrighty, well, we can play a Snoop. Maybe we should. Snoop is a good, it's a nice card. Although we do have to play with the top card of our library revealed, but still. I don't think they can combo off because this they won't have haste, even if they do play this. their own fury. They exiled Goblin Ringleader. That's weird. Well, <clears throat> okay, fair enough. They don't have Snoop on top? Okay, I thought they put Snoop on top. Okay, Matron. <clears throat> okay. Call this Jund Goblins. Chain Goblin Matrons together. How very quaint. Actually, I like seeing the top card of my library because it can determine when I can tick up or which ability to use. Seems like a good enough time as ever to use this ability. And since I know what I'm in for, I might as well do this because I know I'm going to draw a... Yeah. Alrighty. I mean, that's fine. Alright, so I can play Obosh, Tick Up, Lightning Bolt next turn. Which they know about, because so they're gonna have to get Sling Gang Lieutenant.
Let's do this now to force Sling Gang Lieutenant <clears throat> to come out. And then they're going to have to sack everything and then they just die to attacks. Alright, one second.
Well, okay, that was kind of a long phone call, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. You know, part of, I, I, part of me wants to kill this thing, but the other part of me maybe just wants to, uh, just wants to put Obosh to hand. Nah, I gotta kill it. Maybe we do this just, just to see what we got. Hmm, not bad, but also, uh, I don't think it's worth the one damage. But it did get that out of the way for what it's worth. We're mostly fishing for a Ragavan or another Lightning Bolt. I probably should have pitched uh, Fury, I don't know. Yeah, pitched Fury, played Pillage, and then attacked with the Bugbear. That's probably what we should have done, but anyway, this is what it is. Chalice goes to the bottom, Auntie's Hovel. Alright, definitely gonna bolt this. Oh, they think they're slick. Uh, yeah, now I think we're going to pillage to get rid of their masked vandal mana. And, uh, and we can put Obosh to hand. Oh, so I'm gonna get another munitions expert. <laughs> At least I can't use it on my on our Obosh. if they've got another one, but we're, I mean, we're, we already know three of the goblins in their hand. They'd have to draw a land and, yeah, they'd have to draw a land and have Munitions Expert in their hand, or draw have a land and draw a Munitions Expert, but I don't think they have a land because they would have played it last turn. Well, there's a land. So they could play Skirk Prospector, Harbinger, and then Um, <clears throat> I could try to take them off Masked Vandal mana, but I just don't think that's really all that, uh, all that useful. So let's just do this. Let's Ragadash so that we can play around our own Blast Zone. 
I know it's weird to be on the offensive here, but but I think uh, it's the best use of our mana. That's fine by me. So this is some good stuff. Terminate goes to the bottom though. I guess I should have uh, should have uh, smacked the sling gang first. At least I'll take no damage from the uh, the life loss. Well, except except for that. Oh, Fury, and we're right back in this, I think. Hoo hoo hoo! I, I swear I did not. I don't know how. I, I don't know how lucky I uh, I can be. Seems like the best, considering that these actually have abilities. Actually, I probably should have hit these two. Whatever. Yeah, I probably should have hit those two. as well play Mass Vandal, right? I can juice this up to two. Oh, and I guess that's that. Wow, Fury, nothing can really turn the tide like Fury, let me tell you. Fury almost seems kind of unfair in that regard. Like, wow, what a powerful card. I can't believe I doubted Fury at one point. Wow. Already match three. Let's see. My hand seems halfway decent. And I don't know why I was ever a doubter of Blast Zone. Blast Zone could just do insane work here. It's just such a crazy powerful, mostly free card. Since like we can usually accommodate at least four colorless sources, it's so nuts. And it help improves our um, our hammer time matchup so much. LVLs. This is where uh 
both Blast Zone and Spike Field Hazard can really shine, I think. I'll probably just cycle this. Um, let's see. All this Warmaster. Yeah, I'll probably I still just cycle it. Now, what if I draw like a good three drop? Let's see here. But I do need to cycle this now. Yeah, that is a good three drop, but. Yeah, let's do this now. Let's uh, disguise the blast zone, shall we? I guess I was thinking if I drew Blood Moon, but anyway. Or Chandra. I guess Chandra could have just upticked and done it. Okay, well there's Blood Moon, that's good. Chandra, that's good. Yeah, let's play Chandra. I'm gonna do this since I don't have anything to do with the extra mana anyway. All right, cool. I might crack this, but they could crack that anyway, even if I play Blood Moon, okay. I'm gonna obviously play um, Collect Company. I think here. I guess let's just see what we reveal here. All right, not bad. Let's just do this now, because if they if they um, collected company and they reveal one drops, this will get swept away. But if they uh, drop a whole bunch of stuff, we can um, we can uh, pitch hammer, which I think is way better than pitching Blood Moon here in this specific spot. Alrighty. Oh yeah, for sure we're pitching. Maybe we pitch. Uh, yeah, maybe we pitch Blood Moon. Man, Blood Moon can be so good though. If we choose wrong here, this could be... Yeah, let's pitch Blood Moon. Because at the end of the day, if Chandra goes nuts, Chandra goes nuts. Plus I've got this Den of the Bugbear, which might not be half bad. More collected company mana. I see. Okay, that is not half bad, but yeah, the only I just wish I didn't have to discard the uh, the lightning bolt. That's very good though. I can't pass it up. Okay. I at least can uh, spike field hazard. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do anything about this yet.
Okay, I played that off the top of their library. I mean, they're playing all this stuff off the top of their library. If I would have held on to that uh, lightning bolt, this could have been a totally different story. Let's see. Ya. I don't know. I guess I'm looking for another lightning bolt. Well, yeah, that lightning, ditching that lightning bolt turned out to be very uh, costly. First game wash. Yeah, elves is normally a pretty good matchup, but sometimes they can juke you by just putting all this stuff out. And snaring bridge, I think, yeah, it's pretty darn good. I got a lot of ways to kill through the bridge. Relic. Ragavan gets tends to get brick walled, but at the same time, it is just pretty good. Yes, yeah, let's do a, a major blood moon split because I don't really play much creature removal. So, all right, all right, cool stuff. Okay, well, I mean, hey, we got we got a lot of removal. We do need to lay on something like a Blood Moon or or a Season Power Match or a Chandra or I don't know. Like, we do need to pull ahead somehow, but this this deck does have the wherewithal. Let's do this. How much you want to bet they play like a? Plus, I might draw another Bugbear. I might need to pitch this to Fury, that's the only reason I didn't play that out in turn one. Yep, Spike Field Hazard is our Jazz. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to, you know, just to curve out. I'm gonna need to do that. I wanted to play Chandra, but I think I have to hammer that. Man, they're playing Chandra. Yeah, actually, maybe Chandra, but the thing is, this is going to create... Eh, it's okay. Yeah, let's play Chandra. Because the extra mana is just going to be so helpful. And I can even play this thing out here for defense purposes. Next turn we can play Fury. Turn four Fury, not bad. All right, well, Fury deals with all of that. Of course, they can keep tapping this stuff for mana now. I'd love to hit the uh, Elvis Mystic, but the Blast Zone um, can do a lot of work there. But I have to. I have to do this. I have to kill the one drops. They just, they just threaten to do very broken things. Oh, I was worried about Collected Company. I'm going to block the Edwinians Elites, ideally. Oh, it's a colored, colored Elf. Okay, Realm Walker. Definitely need to kill that. Bam. <laughs> of course they're going to jump block with a 1-1, one -one, or they just take. Getting very close to just taking lethal. <laughs> okay, we just we just we'll just kill them with this. Alrighty, that's more like it. I feel like that's more the way elves should go, but you know, hey. Yeah, they really need collective com collected company. Collected company is a very insanely powerful card for them. Uh, but I'm gonna stick by trying to juke them with ensnaring bridge. You know, I I, I am. I really am. Even if they have uh, scavenging ooze, um, and Snaring Bridge will prevent that from attacking, and and uh, my moon effects may prevent it from really uh, from really uh, eating that many cards. At least that's the hope. Alrighty. Uh, 
let's definitely spike field that. See, this is where actually uh, Stone Covered Mountain is way better than um, Castle Emberith. Castle Emberith would not come into play on tap like this. It's worth noting. Okay, I'll plug it Fury. There we go. Um, just because what's it called might be useful for winning under Blood Moon. Hammer of a Garden. That would be nice, but I just don't need it. Alrighty. Well, I gotta deal with uh, Heritage Druid, otherwise it's gonna produce all the green matter they need. Well, that's a little late, I think. I think I need to play Blood Moon, actually, to just shut off that, uh, To just shut off that nurturing peatland. Ah, uh, excuse me, just, uh, just, okay. What's the, uh, what's the ticket here? We're gonna hope to draw a land, that's for sure. It's not a land. That said, this seems like a very reasonable card to play. It also provides some defense. Alrighty. Yeah, well, we're not going to block that. Yeah, let's play Season Pyro. Do we actually need a Snaring Bridge? We might not. And maybe we should have actually hammered this the... Heritage Druid. Uh. Alrighty. Elvis Warmaster. In a hard cast fury here. Right there, no, no, too close to seven mana, not yet at least.
You know, I'm attacking with Ragavan. I don't care what y'all think. The fewer elves they have, I think the better for us. Even if it is just a token. That's actually negative one. We could put Obosh to hand with this mountain anyway. I mean, not negative one, but let's just use the other ability. Oh, but actually, I guess we can't play Fury. Could do this, draw two cards, but I'd rather just put Obosh to hand. They're very close to seven mana. Is it gain trample though? Death touch. Death touch is not is not trample. Let's try to get through for uh, actually killing them. Should I down tick? But if I obosh and up tick, then uh, should have played obosh first. Maybe I don't need Obosh. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that on their upkeep. I think this is better than playing Obosh. I'm just doing this in case they have Weather the Storm. That would be a disaster. Okay. Alrighty. I wasn't slow rolling. I'm just worried about weather the storm. I know this feels like slow rolling, but it really wasn't. Okay. Alright, 
match four? Let's see. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely keep that Ragavan. Let's see. Alright, definitely playing Ragavan. Raggy, Raggy, Raggy. Ooh. Well, probably Season Pyromancer. Hopefully, Drop Blood Moon. And produce more of a clock. Yay, Blood Moon! We did it! I'm just kidding. Well, if they miss their, uh... If they miss their Tron, maybe we can put Obosh to hand. The problem is, is Obosh is not going to give us the damage boost, even if we do put it to hand. Oh, actually it will. It, it can. So please miss your Tron. Please miss Tron, please miss Tron. Either that or let me rip Blood Moon. I'll take either one. Okay, well that's not a Tron land at least. I could play Karn myself, but what is that ultimately going to accomplish? <sighs> Unfortunately, this is not even necessarily lethal. Anyway, let's see. Come on, no Tron, no Tron. No Tron, no Tron, no Tron. Alright, well it seems like at least they have to try to get into Tron. Are they missing the... Okay, well, we're in business, folks. Now, we, now we're in a situation where if we rip a burn spell, I think we have lethal. But, uh, of course, if they play uh, Ujin or Oblivion Stone, our whole board goes bye-bye. But they are at two, so there is that. If one of these lands was dead of the bugbear, then I'd feel much more optimistic. That's the power of Ragavan, just the ability to power out a turn four Obosh. A turn two season Pyromancer, turn four Obosh. We actually race with a with just our mid range uh, core. Okay. Not bad. Very not bad. If you look up the definition of not bad in the dictionary, you'll see uh, you'll see that game basically. At least for us. Not bad for us. Man, I like Fury, but at the end of the day, I think this card is just not what is cracked up to be against them. I'm actually tempted to throw a couple ensnaring bridges in here. Why? Because no, nah, it's just dumb. But they can't. Ujin doesn't sweep it away. Oblivion Stone does, but Ujin doesn't. And the where their main way of gaining life is uh is what's it called um worm coil engine. Is there perhaps some uh you know? I'm gonna do it. It's incredibly speculative. Hmm. I 
Yeah, let's do it. I know this is weird. Snaring Bridge seems more like a card they'd play against us, you'd think. But, given the right circumstances... I could see myself replacing Lightning Bolt with Pirate Spellbomb too, but... The fact that I can't cast it off as Chandra is disheartening. Plus six damage, plus, you know, difference between six and four damage for Obosh and one and two mana. Can't be discounted. Yeah, I just don't know about this though. And the fact that I have Ragavan though, I think means that I have to risk it. If we rip some type of moon or pillage effect, of which we have 10, <coughs> then we're really in business because of this Ragavan. Ragavan just speeds things up so, so much. And maybe we get to see Staring Bridge uh, protect Chandra, you never know. Alrighty. Yeah, I'd love to play that, but I think just getting Chandra out is better. I could play Bolt, but I, I think I think it's better to wait. Yeah, because if I kept, note that if I kept a turn three Moon Hand, but with no Ragavan, I, I might be able to shut them off with Natural Tron. Okay, they don't have Natural Tron. I mean, I could, you know, burn cards off the top, but uh, yeah, maybe I could, maybe I could, and maybe I should, especially since, like, yeah, I should have, I should have tried to burn a card off the top to draw like a moon. All right, or maybe not. No, let's do this. Let's just play this. That's why I held it. Well, they just had very unfortunate hands here. Wow. Very unfortunate. But that is the power of Ragavan, just speeding things up enormously. But of course, if they had Natural Tron, might have been my doom, but it is what it is. Sometimes it is what it is on their end. Alrighty. Alright. Match five. Against against Electric Bob. Well, I, I could I could see this being much, much worse. So let's go. Raggy Raggy. <clears throat> I suspect they're going to take Blood Moon. But Chandra can be good too. Yeah. 
So we need to hold up Raggy. We need to hold up Bugbear for Raggy Taggy. So play Ragataga. Okay. Oh, Grixis Death Shadow. Here's what I, here's what we're gonna do, folks. Just to prevent, just to make sure this doesn't go out of control. Gets exiled. Alrighty. Put Laris to hand. In deathy, deathy, shadow, shadow. Hmm. I kind of want to play Chandra, but... Could also just end up eating a. Could also just end up insta dying. I'm, I'll take the risk. They could also just counter it. But if they counter it, that's good. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. All right. All right. Well, at least we saved five life. I mean, they didn't play another Death Shadow last turn, so maybe we should, maybe we're free to do this. Yeah, they must have uh, been sandbagging that. Come on. I wonder why they aren't uh, playing Luris, so putting Luris to hand. Okay, now they are. And now for them it might be too late, because we can play this. Which, I guess I should have played Valakut, but I actually kind of want the token. Oh no. Uh-oh. <laughs> we don't actually have anything. Joke's on you, our hand sucks. Ooh, now that's a spice of meat ball. Let's see here. Stalling out a bit. I could attack full force. Worst case scenario, they deal with the Fury, block the Bugbear, take uh, one, two, three, four, and then lethal. Yeah. Let's go for broke.
Let's do this on their upkeep just in case. Alrighty. Grixie, 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 Death Shadow, Grixie, Death Shadow, Grixie, Death Shadow, and Staring Bridge, definitely. Definitely pillage if I can. I just think Chandra for sure, especially with Bridge in the mix. No Ragavan, that's easily. That's easily Ragatagged. Fury obviously bailed us out there, but... I mean, how many times are we really gonna need it like that? Possibly a lot, but... No, there's clearly nothing else I can really side out, so it is what it is. Let's just do that. Yeah, and that's just, and that's just kind of that. It's important to be disciplined with these uh, cards that do win you games. Sometimes, sometimes that doesn't automatically mean that they are the best possible card. Oh, bosh. Well, this is a keepable seven, so we will keep. Spikefield Hazard, very good. We would have probably lost a Croxa without this. Okay. We have to be able to uh, intercept Raga, Raga Vaga Taga. All bets are off, though, if they cast something. Well, don't ninjitsu me, bro. Alrighty. Okay. Hopefully their mana screwed, in which case the pillages might just Okay. Well it's it's kind of the opposite of mana screw. I want to hit basics as much as possible. Play lightning bolt. Probably bolt her face, I would imagine. Or no. Well, let's get Chandra. That's not uh, deal damage, but it's just—I think it's just good to tick Chandra up if we can. All right, well, they can uh, get our ensnaring bridge, but maybe Chandra ends up being good enough. We'll probably try to pillage the uh, steam vents. So, I mean, that's a down tick, I think. It's Valakut Awakening.
All right, next turn I can maybe double pillage. We'll see. Oh, Ragataga. Hmm. I guess they can pillage my Insuring Bridge. Well, at least I can smack with a Bugbear now. I think this is actually really, really good. Yeah, let's just discard all of this, y'all. Yeah. And this is going to help deal with Ragataga. All right, I might counter this, but uh, gotta try. Okay, cool stuff. Oh, definitely discarding Chandra. Yeah, since, since I think I can keep them off. Alrighty. Obviously I've got to keep my Chandra down. All right, well, let's do this because all right, trophy number five, boom, cup, boom. Dang. <laughs> oh man, this feels good. We're, we're actually climbing up the leaderboard. Can we make another run for it? Can, is it possible to make another run for it? Look, there we are. Um, man, one more trophy and we actually, uh, we actually leapfrog Aspiring Spike in the, uh, in the, uh, in the leaderboard. I mean, technically we'll be tied, but I wonder. I wonder if he'll uh, if he'll rethink whether or not we're soft to Hammer Time. You you can't have a bad matchup to Hammer Time, I think, and be able to climb up the leaderboard like this. Um, all right. Well, that'd be cool. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okie dokie. Post league uh, wrap up. Well, hey, we uh, we did it. We got we got yet another trophy with a uh, Obas Chandra's hammer. This uh, this really might be uh, where we want to be if we just want to grind trophies. Um, I had a feeling Chandra might be uh, might be a critical component to uh, pushing this deck over the top, and let's see if um, if that continues to be my inkling. And it still is my inkling because we've already accumulated two trophies, and even like with that funky uh, Sun and Moon Obosh deck, we we uh, accumulated a trophy. So um, you know, which might speak to the power of Chandra. It's, it doesn't seem like a busted card. Definitely doesn't because it definitely uh, is vulnerable. It can be killed. But man, oh man, well, at least in this deck, it really complements the hammer so well for like making us a true ensnaring bridge deck. Um, also, the, the mana ability is so helpful when our deck is uh, very mana hungry. The, uh, the down tick ability can really just help us find stuff. Yeah, you know, like uh, there was a lot of talk about this maybe replacing Hammer Bagarden, but you know, um, the best shell for this might be uh, together with Hammer, you know. But of course, um, I've also got these other builds. You never know. I mean, if this build just turns out to be clearly the best, 
I, I'll probably keep the Sun and Moon deck around because at least that deck. No, but you know the Full Moon Mid Range deck also has a. This deck probably has the best burn matchup of all of them because it has it's the most proactive. You know, cre places these creatures out, so it races the most effectively, and it can play Shadow Spear because it's got all these creatures. Uh, Sun and Moon. This is this is basically the deck to whip out if Amulet Titan is a uh, is causing you problems. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, it's at least kind of overall, the most kind of well-rounded is probably the uh, Chandra's Hammer. And I'm telling y'all, Hammer does surprise. I mean, it's just uh, it it just does. I don't know. It just does stuff. But um, alrighty, <laughs> all right. Until next time. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, yeah, we weren't able to get revenge for uh. The one time we lost to Hammer Titan recently, but we did, of course, you know, defeat Hammer Titan, uh, uh, Hammer Time, in the previous league. Um, we we won one, lost one, but but still, I mean, got it, got to hand it to the stack. It definitely has the power. All right.